Okay. So, um, I don't remember last time I made a video. I don't know. I don't remember the date and all of that. But, um, I just want to make this video, um, it's like a, I don't know what the fuck to call it. Okay, whatever. Um, so last time I spoke to you guys, I was telling y'all that, um, I was trying to get like a apartment and I was trying to get a car, all of these different things that I was trying to like get done. I was at this like this low like mentality state in my life where I wasn't happy, you know, and the people around me like they knew kinda how I felt but they did they didn't know like what was going on, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. But um I got my own apartment. <laughs> uh, I moved in my place about four weeks ago. It's the 8th of July. Probably like three or four weeks ago I moved in. Um, yeah, it was like the most happiest. Uh, I was I was feeling all these different emotions at one time. Like I was happy. I was excited. I was like nervous as hell like it was all of this different shit that i was just like what the fuck like i couldn't even believe it you know what i'm saying like it was just like this is not real right now you know and um yeah that happened and so uh, a month before that happened i ended up getting my car now it's not a brand new car you know what i'm saying it's a little putt putt or whatever like it's not you know, it's it's not all that, but it is a nice, it's a decent car. It's not a bad car. I got a 2005 Monte Carlo, so it's okay. I grew to love my car. When I first got it, I was just like, yeah, I want a car. It was so many things that was going wrong. Where when I tried to get a different car, every time I tried to get a car, I was so close to getting like a new car. And this happened like four or five times. One of the particular situations, somebody, the person actually sold the car that the, when I told him that I had the money, that he was like, oh, I already sold it. I was just, like, it was just all types of shit I was going through, you know what I'm saying? So, I was mad as hell. I was really pissed. And, um, I just remember constantly, like, grinding, constantly just overtiring myself. Because, like, I just noticed that shit just wasn't going my way. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, that's literally one of the worst feelings. When you feel like things aren't going your way and you don't see it, like, changing. You know? So, just going through that alone. And then, I was, at the time, I was living with my uncle. And my uncle, he has three beautiful children and my aunt. So, it was, like, five people plus me, you know, living there and... I was just never really comfortable, you know what I mean? Like, you know when you live with a family member, like, it's just kind of, like, you love your family, but I'm one of those type of people, I like my privacy, you know what I'm saying? So, just me knowing that, you know, I'm living with someone and my privacy has been, like, zilched, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, this ain't cool, you know? And then, like, I was in school full-time, I was working full-time, so it was like work, 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 school, 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 work, work, like, that's... That was my life, and that's still my life now. I'm still going through that now, but it's a lot better because I have privacy. And so, just having that, it, it literally, like, it helps. It helps a lot. Like, right now, I don't got shit in my apartment. I don't got, I mean, I got, like, little dishes, and, and like, I got a, a table, and I got my little bed and shit. Little I, I fixed up my bathroom. Um... But as you can see, there's nothing in the fucking living room. Like, I'm sitting in, like, a little metal chair. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about that because this is, like, one of those things. Like, okay, I'm young as hell. I'm just going to be real with y'all. I just I just turned I just turned 20, March 25th. So, what's this? This is July. So, what is April 25th, May 25th, June 25th, July. So, I've been 20 for, like, three months barely 20 in other words and so like i'm young as hell and i'm just doing things that i feel is the right thing to do like i know it's like when you see people with things that you want you know what i'm saying like damn my hair 
people with like, you know, you see somebody with like a house or like they got like a car or some shit. Like it just, it just make you feel like, damn, what the fuck am I not doing in my life where I don't have it? And then you see celebrities and you see all of these different people who just at that point that you feel like you want to be in or you feel like you need to be in because that's what they got, you know? And it's fucked up that we have to think about that. Like as adolescents, like, well, not even as adolescents. I said that shit wrong. Men, millennials, like we think like that. And you know, we, if you look, I'm gonna just be real with you. If you my age and you live with one of your relatives, and you in school, you got a job, you might not have a car, or you might have a car, you're doing fine. You know what I'm saying? You, you're doing fine. You don't need to have a big ass house. You don't need to have all that shit right in that. You don't need to have everything completely figured out. Being in that position, just living with someone alone while you're working, while you're in school, is enough for you to just be like, okay, it's time for me to get my shit together. What do I want to do? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it gives you like a, a goal that you need to like accomplish and you just, you grow to be so hungry and trying to get this goal accomplished. Like that, that shit is the only thing that matters. Like me, I'm trying to be a dentist. I'm in school because I want to be a dentist. I never wanted something so much in my life. It took for me to like really go through what I what I experiencing right now. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was living with people, like I literally was just like, this is the end of the fucking world. Like it was that's how I felt because I never been through it before. And then like when I remember I had this, I was talking to my uncle. He always, you know, he keep real with me. You know, he's just like, look, you fine. You not. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no kids. You in school. You got a job. You doing all of this, you doing all of the right things. And right now it just feel like it's hell because it's just, it's difficult. You know what I'm saying? So I just took it as my own responsibility to just get my own shit. And you know, I don't ever take credit for this shit. This is, I believe that it was God. You know, I prayed for this shit from, when did I move out? All the way from December, November. Probably October, I want to say, because I started school in October. From October till around the time I got my car, um, my blessings started to be answered. So you talking about, you, you're saying October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. That's seven months. Think about the mental progress that you got to make to just be like, Bro, I'm just gonna keep praying. I'm just gonna keep on. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit is real, bro. And for anybody who don't believe in God, I'm not gonna tell nobody what they should believe in or anything like that. That's not my responsibility. That is up to you to decide whatever you in. But I know what I believe in, and I know I wouldn't have been able to do this shit without believing in something because of the place that I was here. You know, it was survival. That's how I look at it. But just enjoy the things that you have. Like, seriously, little blessings that you have, that shit matters, I promise you. Because without that shit that you got, you won't have shit. So it's just best to be happy for the little shit that you got. And, you know, like, just just take, to appreciate the shit, you know. That's all I had to say. But uh, you guys have a good day. Uh, when I get shit together, I will be posting a hair tutorial. Because I've gotten a lot better. My products, they haven't changed. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that shit together. Y'all have a good day.